Hello, everyone. Welcome to our fully animated lecture on the sources of organic compounds. Organic compounds are prepared naturally by animals and plants. Animals synthesize two main groups of organic compounds, proteins and fats. Proteins are meat, mutton, chicken and eggs. Fats are present in milk and other dairy products. On the other hand, plants synthesize mostly carbohydrates, proteins, and vitamins. So these are all the organic compounds obtained from living plants and animals. Let me tell you another major source of organic compounds. Organic compounds also obtained from dead remaining of plants and animals. Also known as fossil fuels. That are coal, petroleum and natural gas. These materials are the main sources of organic compounds. We can get thousands of organic compounds from them. Before going to discuss, coal is a source of organic compound. We learn about coal and its types, and how they are formed. Let me define coal. Coal is a blackish, complex mixture of compounds of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It also contains small amounts of nitrogen and sulfur compounds. Do you know my dear students? How was coal formed? Coal was formed by the decomposition of dead plants that are buried under the earth's crust. It is a very slow biochemical process. It takes under high pressure and high temperature. It takes about 500 millions of years to convert wood into coal. This conversion of wood into coal is called carbonization. Depending upon the extent of the carbonization process, four types of coal are found. Peat, lignite, bituminous, and anthracite. These types differ with respect to carbon content. Peat contains 60% carbon. Lignite contains 70%. Bituminous contain 80%. And anthracite contain 90% carbon content. Because of the presence of highest percentage of carbon. Anthracite is known as superior quality coal. Now, I will tell you some uses of these types of coal. Peat is inferior quality coal and mostly used in kiln. Lignite is soft coal used in thermal power stations to generate electricity. Bituminous is a common variety of coal used as household coal. And anthracite is superior quality hard coal that is used in industry. Here is another very important question for you. How are organic compounds obtained from coal? My dear students, if we heat coal in the presence of oxygen, then coal is converted into carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and ash. This burning process is known as combustion, and no organic compound produced during this process. If we heat coal in the absence of oxygen, then the coal is decomposed into its components, containing organic compounds. This process is known as destructive distillation. This causes coal to decompose into four products. Coal gas is a mixture of hydrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. Ammonical liquor is a solution of ammonia gas in water. Coal tar is a thick black liquid. It is a mixture of more than 200 different organic compounds. So we can obtain organic compounds by heating coal in the absence of oxygen, known as destructive distillation. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please. Consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.